these Allegro's yesterday. I actually made a pair of shorts too, and this is that linen viscose slub that I love so much. Um, I'm gonna make some more today, but I thought I would change the pattern up so that the waist it, waistband is not a separate piece. That way I can serge my elastic on and I don't have to worry about elastic um, twisting like in the laundry or whatever. And you don't have to thread the elastic through. I really like serging my elastic on, so I'm gonna try to alter the pattern to do that. I'm also gonna remove the faux fly um, and make them real quick and easy because this is basically what I'll live in this summer. But um, if you're interested, I'm gonna kind of document my process. So this is not real technical, but this is the um, waistband pieces. And I subtracted, I measured, and then I subtracted out the seam allowances top and bottom. So the finished measurement is an inch and a half um, that I would be losing if I don't use this waistband piece. So I'm gonna add that at the top. And I've gone ahead and done it up here. All I did was um, put some easy pattern, or not easy pattern, this is Swedish tracing paper underneath, and just uh, measured an inch and a half up and added that on, super simple. I'm gonna do the same for the front, except for now I have to think about the pocket slash and what I want to do for that. So for the front, I did the same thing as the back. I measured up an inch and a half um, on the side seam or the pocket seam and the center front, just following that same line. Um, and that's it. And now I have to do the same thing to the pocket pieces so that they'll match. And I also folded over the fly because I'm gonna I'm making these quick and simple, so I'm not doing the faux fly. So that's it. Um, I just added an inch and a half to the top of all of these. Uh, I should know, I did not, um, you will actually add more if you want exactly the same rise that the pattern originally has. I needed a little less, so I didn't do, I didn't add the seam allowance to the top of this. I just, the inch and a half would be funny for me. Uh, I just making sure my pattern still matches with the extra length and we're good to go. So when I sew these together, um, the elastic will be searched to the top here and then it will fold down and then I'll cover stitch the elastic down and that keeps it secure. It will be a lot to this section right here will have more layers, but it'll be fine. I've done it before. So these should be quick and easy to make and I still will put the drawstring. I'll do a faux drawstring. I'll show you how I do that. So I'll still do um, a buttonhole actually on the side. To know where to put my buttonhole marking, um, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm actually head sewn this down. I'm folding the elastic in. I'll fold it over so you can see. Um, and you can see that just right in the middle there on this piece, um, I'll do the small buttonhole marking there. Okay, I am ready to sew these up. The first thing I did to help me get in the mindset and do this quick, I thread all three of my machines with the right thread as much as I can. I think I'll have to re-thread the cover stitch with one, with one spool that I was missing. Um, that way I can just go boom, boom, boom. I don't have to re-thread anything. Everything's ready to go. I've also ironed my pieces. So this should be pretty quick. Um, I think it's like 9.30 right now. So we'll see how long it takes. last little cheater thing I'm going to show you is um, for the drawstring instead of doing a drawstring for an entire width of the pants which really wouldn't be very useful I just do a smaller amount and I thread it through just the buttonholes like one buttonhole to the other and this is just a little simple bod bodkin so I'm just putting it through those two buttonholes like that that's it so I'm not pulling it all the way around the pants. I'm just doing this little cheater right here. That's it. 
So finished these up. It took me 30 minutes start to finish. Um, and that included changing a serger needle. So not bad. But that didn't include, you know, cutting and getting those machines already. But once you have those things done, the sewing part is a breeze for the leg rows anyway. And they're quicker because I took off that, um, the separate waistband piece and just did like a fold down waistband with the elastic surge in, which also means the elastic isn't going to go anywhere. It's surged in there. You'll see this in ready, wear, ready to wear a lot. So, a little trick for you.